Well, welcome to the Cinnabar. Just recently I was asked by one of our viewers who had watched one of our uh, episodes on long barrel Winchesters if there's a relationship between barrel length and accuracy and velocity. Now accuracy I think would be pretty hard to test for. Some guns just seem to shoot a whole lot better than others. You know there's a lot of variables involved um, particularly with these older guns the, the condition of the bore plays so much into it. Um, you know, some with a, a shorter barrel can, can shoot the lights out and some with a longer barrel just won't shoot very well. So, um, I don't think we can really test for that easily. But I did think that we could test for velocity um, fairly easily. So what I did is I pulled out a bunch of uh, guns with different length barrels and we've got a pretty good variety in 4440. So this is our lineup today. Um, you can see we've got a, a pretty good gap here in, in barrel length and even make it a, a better gap. We brought along this Uberti Cattleman in 4440, so we'll start off with a four and three inch or four and three quarter inch barrel, then move up to uh, this 92 Trapper with a 14 inch barrel, then a 92 Saddle Ring Carbine with a 20 inch barrel, and then we move up to the 73s. We've, we've got a 24 inch rifle and then the extra length 30 inch rifle. You've probably seen this one if you watched uh, the video where I. I uh, shoot it for the first time after cleaning it all up. The, the little 14 incher, you, you may have seen it in the, uh, the episode, the, the long and the short of it, where I shoot that one in an a extra length 32 inch uh, 95. But anyway, so really what we're, we're trying to see is if um, these shorter barrels, the, the gases are still expanding when the bullet leaves the barrel and it, and it costs velocity. And, and we would expect that particularly with the revolver um, that 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 expansion is still going on and then we we waste those gases as as the the uh, bullet leaves the barrel and and maybe we'll see that as as we go up the line in the rifles as well now 4440 probably isn't the best caliber to, to choose for this but it's the one where we had the biggest variety of barrel links you know it's a, it's a pretty mild cartridge and because we've got a couple of black powder era guns um, we're we're not going to shoot real hot loads today, but uh, we'll see if j just uh, in in this caliber that it that it makes a difference. Um, if we if we do see that, if, you know, depending on what we find out here today, maybe we'll come come back with um, another ca cartridge, a more of a uh, higher power caliber with some different barrel lengths. Although we don't have anything with this kind of a spread, and, and test those out and see if that makes a difference. So stick around. We'll get set up. We'll get the chronograph out and uh, we'll get going with this little experiment today. Okay, so let's get this party started. First off, we'll shoot this uh, Uberti Cattleman. Six ninety nine for the first shot. Seven fourteen. Six seventy two. Okay, now this little fourteen inch trapper, we're just going to single load. Oops, I forgot to pull the empty out of there. I took one shot just to see where it would shoot. Okay. One thousand and four. So we can see the, the revolver was shooting around 700 and we've already bumped up to a thousand. We really would have expected that with a short barrel revolver bumping up to a, a 14 inch rifle. Okay, shot number two with the 14 inch trapper. One thousand seventeen. So we're pretty consistent there. One more shot. Eight 
M1022. So we didn't have a lot of spread there like we did with the revolver. Okay, so we're going to set this one aside. And we'll go with this 20-inch saddle ring carbine. This is where the... We'll really probably tell a difference if there's going to be one in these rifles. Thousand fifty one. So we bumped up a little bit. To be honest, that's really kind of what I was expecting. Um, either just a little difference or no difference at all and we'll, we'll have to see when we get to the longer barrel ones I kind of kind of don't expect that we're gonna see any difference there but you never know and that's why we're doing this thousand seventy two So we're seeing a difference between this and the 14 inch. Not a dramatic difference, but it's it's definitely um, significant. Thousand forty-two. Okay, now I'm gonna take just a second and go grab the two long barrel rifles. I didn't have enough room just to set them all here on the table at the same time. Okay, so now we've got these old 73s out. And i got to admit, I've, I've not shot this carbine before, so this will be a first time. It doesn't have a real good bore. And, uh, of course, the 30-inch one doesn't have a real good bore either. If you saw my episode on that one, I talked about how when I found it, it had a bug's nest in the bore that was dried out in there and probably been there for 75 years or more. So... Um, both of them have pitting. This one's got fairly weak rifling. We'll see if that maybe will have an, any effect on uh, velocity here. It might even actually be slower than the, the carbine. We'll have to see. Let's see. I need to raise this up. Okay, here we go. Thousand fifty four, right in there with where the carbine was. So we're not seeing any any uh, increase in velocity from that first shot. Okay, let's try her again. Maybe she's warmed up and she'll shoot a little faster this time. Oh, thousand twenty three, we dropped off a about 30 feet okay last shot with with this uh, 24 inch rifle thousand fifty three okay now we get to shoot one of my favorite guns this old barn found rusty relic of 73 that we resurrected from the dead <laughs> I really don't expect it to shoot any faster than either the 20 or the 24 inch. But let's see. I'd love it if it did. Okay, here we go. 30 inch, 1873. 1033, right in there. The uh, lever cam is pulling more out on this one. I've got it. Got to get a new one and, and get it put in there. Maybe we'll do an episode on putting in a lever cam for a 73. Okay, so I said 1,033 on the 30 inch. A couple more rounds and we'll call it a day. Thousand seventy nine. Heard a little ricochet, got, got one bouncing off a rock there. Thousand 
not to worry, this is about as safe a place as there is to shoot. Okay, let's see what this last shot will do. Thousand twenty-five. Okay, I'll uh, do a little math here and average these up, and we'll be right back to give you the results. I think we kind of already know what would we uh, found. Well, the results are in. It's uh, Uberti Cattleman, four and three-quarter inch, six hundred and ninety-five feet per second. Kind of expected it to be a lot slower than the others, and we take a pretty significant jump to the 14 inch trapper at 1014 so we're a little over 300 feet per second we really expected that then the 20 inch 92 uh, saddle ring carbine was at 1055 so we we jumped up it's not a huge amount but it was significant so we do gain a little velocity between 14 and 20 inches and from there after 20 inches we really didn't gain anything in fact it dropped off just a tiny little bit to 1043 for the 24 inch and 1046 for the 30 inch. Now actually, so the, the saddle ring carbine 92 was a little bit faster than the 273s, but it's got a really a pristine bore and these other two are pretty rough, so that could have played into it a little bit. Um, well, I, I hope you kind of enjoyed this, maybe learned a little something. It, it kind of ended up pretty close to what I expected, really. Um, just kind of fun to get out here and do this today and, and get out and do some shooting. It's been awful weather this winter and last couple days were, were socked in with fog so decided well heck when the sun came out today we're going to go out and do a little shooting and this seemed like a kind of a fun one to do so I hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned a little something um, I'm still kind of debating back and forth which one uh, is my favorite either the, the 14 inch or the 30 inch um, I guess I'll let you decide what what uh, one you like the best as always, if you're interested in Winchesters, join the Winchester Arms Collectors Association. Get on the forum on their website, uh, winchestercollector.org. Um, great, great resource there. Um, if you do decide to join up, we'll tell them you, you learned about it from the Cinnabar. Well, until next time, happy trails from the Cinnabar.